Bet horse racing on DRF Bets. We'll match your first deposit of $200. Get free expert picks and past performances, plus weekly cash back. All from Daily Racing Form, the most trusted name in horse racing. Dan Ullman, Mike Beer, kicking off a 50-cent pick four at Keeneland on a Super Saturday of Breeders' Cup prep races. Race number eight, the grade one first lady, fillies and mares going a mile on the lawn. Let's take a look at this field. Not the biggest field in the world. Chad Brown has half of them. What else is new? It's a turf race for fillies and mares. Regal Glory tried the boys last time out in the four-star Dave. She ran really well. She and Warlike Otters are the two best turf uh, mares in the country right now. Uh, yeah, exactly. Warlike Goddess, um, you know, the the horse that, you know, sort of handles the longer distances, Regal Glory, the miler, um, just been really good, Dan. Had, having a great year so far as a six-year-old. Um, couldn't quite hack it with the boys last time back in with the Phillies and Mares here. I'm really fascinated to see how this pace plays out. We throw up the time form U.S. pace projector. Regal Glory, we know she can sit in stalking range. The other two Chads, in Italian, who just ran a hole in the wind in gate to wire fashion in the Diana, she's fast. Technical analysis. Her best game may be when she goes to the lead. It'll be interesting to see if those two get involved in a little bit of a hookup, but Regal Glory, the last time she got pace in the just the game, ran right by an Italian. Uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how they decide to play it, particularly with the three and the four, uh, because as you've already pointed out, they both like to be forward, and when they uh, met up in the Diana up at Saratoga, it was technical analysis who just conceded, Dan. There didn't seem to be any reason for her to do that, but she turned an Italian loose, and they couldn't catch her. Suge McGahee has done a fine job with the number one of Vigilante's Way, who's going to be stepping up in class off this victory in the Violet over her favorite turf course, Monmouth Park. She sits in behind horses, turning into the stretch as the odds-on favorite. Paco Lopez doesn't panic. He's going to find a seam, and Vigilante's Way does the best. Shug has found great spots for Vigilante's Way to build up the bankroll. Now they want to build up the resume. They'd love to get a grade one placing at the very least. Uh, yeah, we'll see if she can do it. You're right. They've been she's been very well handled uh, by an excellent trainer. Um, this is a way tougher race than the one that she just won at Monmouth last time. I'm a huge fan of the number two, Princess Grace. She has good tactical speed. I don't believe she's as fast as technical analysis or an Italian. I do think she's quicker out of there than Regal Glory, and maybe she'll take up the catbird seat sitting in third in the early portion of this race. Let's watch her most recent start over the demanding mile at Kentucky Downs. She sat in second position early. She makes a move, and she fights hard all the way to the wire, and that's her. She's been on the board in 12 of 13. Yeah, she's a really good horse. Gotten wired in her, each of her last two starts by Delica. Just could not catch that horse um, after after Delica made the lead both times. But she's dead game here, trying to get the job done. Um, an easy win prior to that at Parks, and that came off of just a terrible trip and ride off the layoff at Monmouth. You know, Dan, I don't know if she's going to be able to beat all three of these Chad Phillies, but when they ran her in that matriarch, I'm not saying she was going to beat Regal Glory, but, man, did she have a brutal trip that day. The best price of the three Chad Brown train runners likely to be the number three technical analysis who lacks that big grade one win that in Italian and Regal Glory both have on their page. That being said, technical analysis, I think your analysis of her trip in the Diana was perfect. She broke well. I think she could have made the lead. I think a lot of pundits thought she was going to make the lead. Instead, they grabbed her, raided her back, in Italian got loose. Technical analysis took her shot. She was second best. She got on the lead in her most recent start. This race, the Boston Spa, and it doesn't get much easier than this. Short field of overmatched horses, easy trip on the lead, and she's getting out a little bit to hold off her stablemate fluffy socks. Yeah, she is, but she's always she always is holding on in a race that did come back pretty fast, I guess. I don't think this was her most impressive win, Dan, um, but she just did what she had to do here. I um, mean, you can see that these two Chad Brown are putting distance on the rest of these fillies in this race, but she ran well in there. Um, I, I'll never understand what the plan was in the Diana except to just have an Italian get a grade one win because there was no reason to ride technical analysis that way. And she actually ran really well in that race. I'm a big fan. 
in Italian, never off the board from seven lifetime starts. She battled on the lead in the Just a Game on Belmont Stakes Day, a race where Regal Glory came from off the pace to win. In the Diana, as Mike mentioned, she was able to make the lead. If you believe the fractions, she was blazing. Let's watch in Italian. They went 45 and change, 109 and two. Here's technical analysis on the outside. And then Italian just finds another gear, completing the mile in an eighth and 45 flat. Yeah, she finds another gear here because she was totally loose on the lead. Um, you know, they just never went after her early. She was in control of the backstretch, never faced a challenge around the second turn. And then when technical analysis finally came for her, she had plenty left in the tank and she kicked away. Um, I'm a fan of this filly. I've liked her from the start. Um, I have no knocks on her form overall. Um, but I guess if you knew that they were going to set that race up that way last time, you, you should have bet her that. 12-time winner Regal Glory is the horse to beat. Her most recent start came against males in the four-star Dave handicap going a mile, and she ran just fine as the beaten favorite. Let's watch that race right now. Regal Glory was tracking on the outside, makes a move, and is going to get run down from behind by the late-kicking Casa Creed. She lost nothing in defeat. She's earned triple-digit buyers in five of her last six, and she won the Jenny Wiley over the Keeneland, distance, over the Keeneland course during the spring meet. Yeah, I mean, she runs fine in here, just not quite good enough to get the job done. You can see she never really could even get by to the lead um, until uh, Casa Creed overtook her. And then she finally prevailed for a second. She ran fine in there, um, and it's just not the kind of race I want to hold against her. Her races, to me anyway, Dan, her races against Phillies and Mares make her the best of the three Chad Brown Phillies, uh, Phillies and Mares in this race. Market Rumor completes this short but quality field. She's trained by Ian Wilkes. We just saw her run third behind Princess Grace. That was in that Lady Sturt for Kentucky Downs. She does have a win at Keeneland. This is a pretty big step up in class, though, for Market Rumor. A horse who I think is just going to be taken back and hope for one run, maybe to get a nice piece of the pie. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's hard to, to see her, you know, pulling off some kind of upset in this race. But maybe they'll sit back, try one run, and maybe get her green one place. Top pick time, first leg, 50 cent pick four, Keeneland on Saturday. It's the grade one first lady. Regal Glory is certainly the horse to beat, Mike. She might get the right trip. I just wonder of the three Chads, if we haven't seen technical analysis as best and we've seen the other two's best race thus far. Uh, I think she's tactical, and I'm really curious to see how they ride her this time. I wonder if they go. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they decide to play it early because that could be key to the whole thing here, Dan. It certainly was key to the whole thing. Um, in that Diana a couple starts ago. I'm a big fan of technical analysis, and I agree with you that she might have uh, the most upside of any of these. I think it's pretty clear that Regal Glory is the best of them as of now, but you know what? Maybe we, maybe she's all done at this point, Dan, and she's not getting any better. The other two still have forward to go. A win here from Regal Glory. We might see her against the boys again, this time in the Breeders' Cup mile. 5-3-4-2 for Mike, 3-4-5-1 for me. Chad Brown's got the three chalks in the first lady, Grade one on a supercar to Keeneland. Good luck.